Blood Drive, considered the joke character, the worst Penguin variant, and the possibly the worst character in Skullgirls Mobile. But is it really true? In this video, we will be talking about her ability, playstyle, and answering these following questions. Is Blood Drive a joke character? Is Blood Drive the worst Penguin variant? And finally, is she the worst character in the game? Now, let's begin the video. Her SA1 is a 5% chance on hit to inflict bleed on herself and heavy bleed on the opponent for 10 seconds each. Now having bleeds on an opponent is really great for weathering down their health. Most variants that do heavy bleeds are characters who do high damage such as Buzzkill and Class Cutter, while others use it for defense to wither down their opponents such as Dreadlocks or Assassin's Greed. Blood Drive does have to attack to back it up, but in return for doing heavy bleeds, she gets a stack of regular bleed. Which if she gets 5 stacks, she can be possibly killed before her final opponent or her first or second opponent if you're unlucky since Painwell characters have the lowest health in the game. Her SA2 is that she also gains enrage for 6 seconds for every bleed afflicted to blood drive. Having enrage on Painwell is the scariest thing since in return to low health, she gets the highest attack in the game, making blood drive really terrifying if she gets 5 stacks. But by the time she gets 5 stacks, she will be 5 stacks of bleed or already at low health. So this theory was great on paper but not great in reality. Blood Drive's playstyle is a debuff slash nuker variant. Her best playstyle is to do as much damage with her before she literally bleeds to death. Her stats will be HP for her survivability, attack for doing as much damage as possible, defense to take her little damage as possible, crit rate and crit damage to help her boost her damage output, meter gain to give her access to blockbusters, and block proficiency to take as little chip damage as possible. Her moves will be Cruel Lily for a combo ender, Dalbolga Stinger for a combo extender, Hatrian Stall for raw damage, Blue Thrasher for armor break and activating her SA1 more faster, and Blue Overdrive for a grand finale. Now with further ado, let's get on with the video. Yeah. <laughs> 
For your physical. Showtime! It's nothing!
Now let's answer the questions from earlier in the video. Yes, but not really. But don't get me wrong, Blood Drive is not the greatest character, but when it comes to joke characters, she is definitely not the worst. Joke characters in Skullgirls Mobile are known for their bad stats, abilities, or even sometimes both. When it comes to abilities from all joke characters in Skullgirls Mobile, Blood Drive has far the worst ability in the game being outclassed by joke characters with below average abilities such as Rerun, Meow, and Mummy's Darius. When it comes to stats between the joke characters, Blood Drive has the highest base attack between them, just being slightly higher than Mummy's Darius. But when it comes to health, she is tied with Rerun with the lowest health of all joke characters, making her the definition of glass cannon. Yes, yeah, she is the worst. When it comes to offense, she is outclassed by variants who have higher base damage, or increase their damage more, such as Buzzkill and Flytrap, or variants who give bleeds on their opponents faster than her, such as Rusty and Freaky Friday, making her not suitable for offense. Not only that, being outclassed by Scarlet Viper, a Eliza variant who has Blood Dry's ability, but does it a lot more better. And when it comes to defense, don't even think about it. The only thing she got for her is Grudge, and there are so many ways to counter it. She's not the worst in the game, but she is definitely the top 10 worst characters in Skullgirls Mobile. In my personal opinion, I think Rerun and Mismatch are the worst characters in the game. But seeing people talk about Blood Drive, that's how she is the worst, and to that I say you're correct. But not all the time. She is a great niche character, compared to Rerun being a gimmick support character. Thank you guys for watching this video. As you can tell, this video is longer than the Hype Man video I made one month ago. I want to hear from you in the comments about what you think about Blood Dry. Do you think she's the worst character in the game? And if you want to change her, how would you change her? The next project will be the Bronze and Silver Eliza variants, since people in Channel Zero usually call them horrible. Until then, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.